Ahoy, it's me, Captain Stewart here. And if you didn't know, there's a little thing in Battle Cats called Uber Super Rares. And in this video, I'll be showcasing the top five Ubers ever. So this video will help you know which Ubers to put in your lineup to win every battle. So without further ado, here we go. We have Eva Unit 002. This thing is an absolute beast. It r rips through every single red enemy to ever exist. And right here, it's showcasing Bun Bun being demolished, as well as dealing a heck of a lot of damage. He can also take a lot of damage too. His health is very good. And also at 33% HP, which is his final knockback, he activates his strength power. His strength power increases the attack by 100%, so essentially he's two times stronger, which is absolutely insane and helps a lot during stages. His standing range is 400 with effective distance from 200 to 650, which is enough to kill a lot of things and can snipe bases if you don't really like killing bosses. On top of all this, he also deals massive damage to Red, so very good cat. You might know him, and if you do, you might love him. It's Baby Cat. This cat is a tanking cat with 105,000 health, which is really, really good considering his 50,000 attack. His recharge time is also a great upside to him. It helps you in a lot of stages, and it always helps when things get hectic. You can always rely on Baby Cat. He also has a level 2 wave attack, which is really helpful and can kill groups of enemies with ease. Okay, Bora. I have a lot to say about this cat. He is probably the best anti-alien cat in the game from what I've seen in my gameplay. He has massive damage against aliens, which boosts his attack by times four, and his regular base attack damage is 37,000. So in theory, he should deal 120,000 damage to aliens, which gets really helpful. Well, not only that, but he's also resistant to aliens, which he only takes one fourth of the damage. So that makes him even better and can survive so many hits from a lot of aliens. Bora only has 390 range, but that's more than enough considering he can survive numerous hits from backliner enemies. He also outranges most of the mid-range enemies, which is really helpful, so in any alien lineup, I'm pretty sure that this guy's gonna do it for you. He also has Barrier Breaker and Warp Immune, which is helpful in Catch of the Cosmos. On top of that, he only costs 3,780 cents. If that's still too expensive, his first form only costs 1,000, so you can use him in cost restriction stages too. On top of everything I've talked about so far, his recharge time is also really quick, and meaning you could A, stack him, or B, if things go wrong, you can always summon another one. Number two, Swashbuckler Kana. And probably now is a good time to mention that these cats are in no particular order. It's just like, I was too lazy to put them in order, so, <laughs> yes. This cat is the definition of a sniper. She can cover all the distance between 250 and 1,000. She has a three-part multi-hit and a level two surge. She has massive damage against black enemies, but you might be saying they have so many knockbacks, it'll be hard to hit them. Well, the surge attack can cover that for you. So with this and the multi-hit, the black enemies are almost guaranteed to die. Without further ado, here's the number one cat in Battle Cats, Balaluga. His range is 975, which basically outranges every enemy in the game. His only downsides are slow speed, low health, looks ugly, slow attack, low attack, bar for recharge time, only one knockback, high cost, other than that, he's probably the best cat in the game, and is by all means the number one uber rare in Battle Cats. 
Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. I really appreciate it. And also, thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. I couldn't have done it without you, but that's kind of obvious. Thank you so much for subscribing if you did. And I've always dreamed of this moment to get 1,000 subscribers. This is an absolutely surreal moment for me. And thank you so much. Steward out.